The next stage of gender determination is the determination of gonadal gender. There is a gene on the Y chromosome known as the SRY gene or the testes determining factor. The presence of this gene allows the Y chromosome to give the instructions uh, to form uh, testes instead of ovaries and thus this will result in male gender. And so it's this SRY gene which determines the male gonadal gender, the differentiation of the embryonic gonads into testes. Because females lack this SRY gene, their embryonic gonads choose a default patterning and develop into ovaries. There can be abnormal scenarios, however. Sometimes crossing over results in the SRY gene being on an X chromosome, which would result in an XX male, and no SRY on the Y chromosome, resulting in an XY female. Now, neither of these individuals, the XX male or the XY female, would be fully fertile, and there would be a number of abnormalities potentially, but nevertheless, they would be XX males and XY females. In normal development, the SRY gene in males then activates a number of other genes which are responsible for normal male development. A number of these genes, the ones given here, have the potential that when mutated or when duplicated can actually contradict the instructions of the SRY gene and then give the command for female development. So it is possible for an individual to be chromosomally male, XY, and have an SRY gene. But if they have changes in these other genes, these can contradict the instructions of the Y, resulting in XY females, even though an SRY gene is present.